Here's your host, Alex Garrett. All right, well, there is some major news in New York City tonight because after it was found out yesterday, federal investigations were on Mayor Adams regarding six foreign governments. A day later, Wednesday morning, there was panic all across City Hall because they knew a top official was about to be indicted in City Hall. But would you believe it if that top official was Mayor Eric Adams, New York City's mayor? You know, my only gripe when he came into office in 2021 was that he didn't rehire the unvaccinated that lost their jobs under de Blasio. To truly turn the page, I felt he had to rehire. Then I gave him a break on the fact that these migrants were coming in because, yes, Biden and the White House were not doing enough. And while I do believe some of these investigations against Adams, the fact he wasn't at the DNC on the stage speaking was retribution for speaking up against the Biden administration. But the handling of City Hall since, you know, even uh, NY, former NYPD Commissioner Caban. By the way, there are now three commissioners that have run through City Hall and the NYPD One Police Plaza. Remember, Keyshawn Soul started the year, then Edward Caban took over, and then now it's Donlin, who was raided on Saturday, just a few days after his introduction as interim. But Mayor Eric Adams being indicted is very concerning. Why Turkey? Turkey, if you don't know, is led by, if I'm not mistaken, Erdogan. Why would he want anything to do with Erdogan, who is clearly an extremist, And, you know, pretty much a dictator. Why would the mayor of New York turn to Turkey for this to be elected here? Why? You know, I met Mayor Eric Adams in 2024, actually, on St. Patrick's Day. I saw him earlier last year as well. But behind the scenes, he was hiring his friends. He was hiring people who then would ask favors of other people. And did did, did Adams do anything about those friends of friends who were trying to get favors from, yes, the NYPD? No, he did nothing. That's mismanagement right there as mayor and lackluster. Did he truly do anything to eliminate the migrant crisis. We reported on this a while back. They weren't funneling people out of the city. They were crowding up the boroughs with illegals, making new shelters happen. So yes, I can see Mayor Adams' point while uh, saying the migrant crisis is not on the hands of New Yorkers. But the ballsy move would have been to ship them out of New York and not into the boroughs even more. So there he didn't handle it completely. I think the other reason why I gave Adams some leeway here is because he was a higher bar than de Blasio. At least he respected law enforcement. At least he knew it because he was in the NYPD. And then he became borough president in Brooklyn. But he was there on the ground in law enforcement. You would never see anybody turn their back on Adams like did the prior mayor, de Blasio. The deflections, the resignations of almost everybody. I mean, by the time this podcast is done, another resignation could be happening. Could be Mayor Adams by the time this podcast is done. I don't know. But it's disappointing. Because personally, I didn't feel like I had to combat him on everything. 
de Blasio, great to talk to. Actually, was very excited that Gabby and I got engaged because he met us last. She met her last year. Not a good mayor. But Adams had this thing about him. And by the way, breaking news, he just said he's not stepping down. He's not stepping down, which is a a expected response. That just breaking as I'm recording tonight. Expected response from Adams. He won't step down if charged. AOC is going after Adams as well, saying he should resign. The mayor clapped back at him, at her, saying, I have a city to run. But I feel like it's going to be inevitable that he will be pushed to resign. I don't see his longevity here as an indicted mayor. Now, Some will make the argument, well, Trump's a convicted felon and he's still running for president. So there is that likeness there. In fact, this is a really wild first. He's the first mayor, the first sitting mayor in New York City history to be indicted in office. And yet he won't step down. And we'll see if that changes to, as I'm sure pressures are going to come from, but we, we really can't, we can't handle, the city cannot handle a Scott Stringer for mayor down the road. They can't handle uh, <laughs> Brad Lander, who's just the, the, uh, really awful comptroller. So much so he wants to depu- weaponize the comptroller office against Adams. You know that's happening, right? Yeah, we talk about sports adaptability, but I have my eyes on city politics, too, because it's my lifeblood. New York City is my lifeblood. I've met all the living mayors in this city. In fact, I was thinking, what if 2029 and I would be 37 would be a perfect time to run and be a storybook kind of thing. Running for mayor, I don't know if I'd win, but... I mean, I fully expected Mayor Adams to win a second term. I fully expected it. I think the other issues I've had with him was he was calling it a perception that the city was not safe and partly of it true. I mean, I don't feel afraid walking through the city. But... There are real crimes happening, and that's not perception. A person being shoved off the subway platform is not a perception. That's a reality. A fair evasion where you actually lead to guns being confiscated is um, a reality. It's not a perception. So there are things where I felt... He could have just been honest and said, you know what, we're working to get the crime numbers down. But this, again, is the first mayor. And all of a sudden, Aaron Judge hits a three-run homer tonight as the mayor of New York gets indicted. You can't make this up. You cannot make this up. He, what is he, Nick Castellanos? Three-run bomb is the New York City mayor. First ever gets indicted. You can't make this up. Well, anyway. I digress. This is bad news. And it's bad news because we now have, from a local perspective, a city that's a mess and a vulnerable city is not a safe city. It's a city that criminals want to take advantage of. The NYPD in turmoil is not good for safety of the city. City Hall in shambles, not good for the safety of our city. Crap, man. The Biden administration still defends the Afghanistan withdrawal. He said, Biden yesterday said it at the UN. But they did that withdrawal terribly, and then that was when we looked vulnerable on the nat- on the global stage, for the and that set the stage for the wars we're seeing now in Ukraine, 
versus Russia, and of course, Israel now versus Hezbollah and Hamas. Because the enemy is looking at us as vulnerable all across the board. And New York City, the greatest city in the world, looking vulnerable doesn't help. An indicted mayor doesn't help with the appearance of a great, safe, and truly thriving city. I mean, it is almost one disaster after another because de Blasio had the COVID crisis, which was terribly managed. Now this. And what have we been doing for the last four years trying to bounce back from that crisis? This is a crisis. This is not having one leg up for America for the on a global stage. It's just showing we are vulnerable. And I think while he wants to keep going and he does have a city to run, how do you make the city look stronger? Maybe resignation is the answer if charged. How about that? But I will tell you this. I've ended up having one leg up against indictments by not voting for an indicted mayor. You heard that right. I did not vote for Adams in 2021 because I was loyal to Curtis. As you know, Curtis Lewa got me into radio and he was the man of New York. He is a staple of New York City. And I thought this was his time to do it in 2021. But yes, him bringing me into my first job in radio, that's a loyalty thing right there. That's a loyalty thing right now. And so I did not vote for the first indicted mayor in New York City history. We'll see what happens when it's unsealed tomorrow. But this hurts. And it's pretty shameful to be home to an indictment, to to where City Hall has an indictment mayor. A colleague said to me, how fast can you make a meme where the spirit of Halloween has taken over City Hall? That was pretty good. But this is not good. And at all levels of, of the places we care about, Washington, New York City, and for a lot of people, Israel... There are vulnerabilities, and those vulnerabilities have to be resolved. And tonight, with this indictment, while we can admire his pushing and soldiering on, I don't see another way for Adams to continue. I don't. And that scares me, because I think there's going to be a way left or mayor that's going to come in and that's going to be dangerous God bless New York God bless America and by the way I mentioned Israel because thank God thank God they intercepted Hezbollah missiles in Tel Aviv Tel Aviv was under attack today the White House was concerned did you know about that Because if you didn't, this is why we have one look up on news. To tell you things you probably haven't heard of yet. But while I have pictures with Rudy and de Blasio and Bloomberg and Adams. And even Dinkins, I got a picture with him at the Statler Grill while he was still around. The fact of the matter is. I... I'm proud to not have voted for our first indicted mayor. That's how one leg up on indictments works, in my view, at the Alex Garrett One Leg Up Network. This is only the beginning. I don't know what happens tomorrow. We'll keep an eye on on it for you here on uh, the One Leg Up Network. But my, oh my, Mayor Adams indicted over campaign contributions from Turkey from Turkey 
Erdogan is a dictator. What is Adams doing messing around with the countries who's led by a dictator? What is that? I'd like answers, Mr. Adams, Mr. Mayor. And hopefully more answers and less defiance will make us less vulnerable. Because New York City can't be vulnerable right now. Right now. We are the hotbed of anti-Semitism. We are the hotbed as a target. We, we, it just feels like we are a prime target. And when our house is not in order, that just leaves the door open. We got to close that door. In many ways, by the way, as a country and as a city. And if you catch my drift, congratulations. Have a great night on the Alex Garrett Podcast Network.